Hello guys, this is Navic has fun. Today I'm going to show you a new Rust update, which I'm sure you've all been waiting for. But it's it's not too big, but it is actually a really nice update. As you can see, there's new grass. I'm actually getting bad frames at the moment, but interesting thing, it actually fixed the grass for better FPS, believe it or not. So they've improved it by, I think they said about 20 FPS, so that's great. It actually looks a lot better, and the sounds are a lot better. As you can maybe tell in the background, they've added music, which is customizationable, which is, that's a great thing to have. So, and then, like, as I said, the bugs are fixed with the grass. So then we can go into our options, and where is it? Oh, V-Sync, here we go. V-Sync is now available. If you don't know what that is, it's pretty much your frames cannot go past 60 frames per second. I don't know why anyone would want that, because more the better I'd say but yeah alright next up we have is the box decay so the box decay pretty much means if you touched a box it would pause the decay so it reset the timer but actually it will not do that anymore so you have to keep recycling your boxes after every three days I believe there are, there's a repair delay so if you get a if your wall gets blown up with 1C4 and you can tell that it's black, you'll actually have to wait 5 minutes before you can r repair it with wood. Next up we have is the metal bases. Now, the metal bases only take... They used to take wood to repair them. They now take metal fragments, which is more, more normal. Another thing they fixed is the headshots on the zombies, which is amazing. Because if you've ever done that, then you'd realise if you shot near the head of a zombie, it would spurt out blood but it wouldn't actually hurt or get a hit marker on them which sucks and then last but we have is a where we actually have a favorites list on the servers I'm not actually sure how to implement this favorites list but I'm sure I'll figure out how by the end of the video alright guys well I'll be back with the doors and the grass alright guys I'm back and I said grass I actually meant doors and beds so first off we have the door you can actually you can see the three options here you can open the door unlock the door and unlock the door is very interesting it's actually open to every single person on the server so I'm not sure why you'd want that maybe you want to have an open house party or something like that but here is an interesting thing a change lock so you can put say that and someone could come along and We'll try to guess your lock, I suppose, but if they... It's a new way of sharing doors, other than having to type it in. So if I change the lock to, say, 11111, my friend comes along and put 1111 in, he will not have to put it in ever again until I change the code. So it's better than having to write in share code. Ah, oh, there's a bear outside. I'm actually currently locked in side, so I can't really do much about the bear, so... Bear with me! <laughs> oh... Actually, I'm just going to turn that down. Ugh, got the sniffles, guys. I'm sick. There we go. Fixed. Alright, so next we have the beds. The beds are very cool. They just do the same as the sleeping bag, except they look cool and take up a lot more room. Uh, they actually fix the... Sorry about saying, uh, that was a weird sound. They fix the sleeping bags. So, we there used to be a not so much of a glitch but more of an exploit with the sleeping bag so you could put a thousand down and you would always respawn straight away so with that now you'll, you'll only need one sleeping bag because either way you have to respawn you will you will not respawn on a sleeping bag in five minutes unless it's more than 100 meters away so it's a more of a more of a what would you call it a a gunfight exploit, I suppose, just so you can't keep going out and out of your house and just keep doing that. So you can actually do that with beds, though, which is so they just implemented a new thing to do that. But so the beds, what you need for the beds is 40 cloth and I believe 100 metal fragments. So here we go. It actually you don't need to research it. So 40 cloth, 100 metal fragments. So that's done there. Takes 15 seconds to craft. And I believe that's it, other than you actually have to have a roof over the head or over the top of the bed, which is I reckon is very interesting. So guys, this has been Navic Has Fun. If you guys like seeing Rust update videos, please subscribe. I do all of them every single time it comes out. I try to be the first one to do them so I can get some more views and maybe some more subscribers. 
So if you did like this video, leave a like. And if you have any suggestions for me in the oh in the next couple of episodes episodes next couple of videos, then just write it down in the comment section. All right, guys. Bye.